Good morning, all witch bookie followers, and welcome back to day three of the 2022 Galway Festival. It's been a tricky Galway so far, not one that's been easy to get into just from a backing winner's perspective. And I suppose when you had a look at the BMW mile yesterday at Galway, it just showed you how difficult it can be. One of my selections, Star Harbour, was completely shut off on the turn in, lost four or five lengths, ends up getting beaten four or five lengths back into six. So those are the sort of things that can happen at least he was placed. He was placed at 16 to 1 as well, so it wasn't too bad uh, with the other two horses. Barman walked out of the stalls and his race was, was run then. And I was a little bit disappointed with the beginner's chase because John Snow came third, ran okay. But Enna Scary's a horse I've put up and backed plenty of times before and decided to stray against him this time round. And uh, to see him win and win so nicely at a good price was disappointing. We've got to keep the head high though and move into today's race. And starting off with the 540 race, which is the two mile six furlong handicap hurdle. And Barry Connell struck with Enniscary yesterday and he was one for one with his horses on the card. And I'm hoping it's the exact same again here with Snake Oil, who's a really good horse. Another horse of Connell's that I've liked uh, for plenty of time. He won his bumper. He was then third behind wide receiver in a maiden hurdle. Then was off for plenty of time before finishing second behind Bring on the Night. Then won his maiden hurdle, beating a horse called Glen Glass, who's been a bit disappointing since. But he won that very impressively. I think an opening mark of 125 may underestimate him ever so slightly, and I know he's top weight in this race, but he could just be a little bit of a class above, and that's what the hope is anyway, and I think Barry Connell's not going to be wasting bullets uh, in this Galway Festival, he's going to come with a small team, but a team that he'll want to find winners with. Snake Oil is currently 9-2 to two with Ladbrokes with five places available. I'm going to take the safe option of backing him each way at that price and hopefully he can do the business. Moving on to the 6-10 race, the Mayor's Handicap Hurdle over two miles. Very hard race. There's a few quite talented mares in there at, at the top of the weights and then there's a few improving mares right down the bottom of the weights and I'm going to side with one of them right at the bottom of the weights and that's Tully Polani who's already won twice this summer uh, around Ballon Road for Peter her flood Rachel Blackmore takes the ride even though she's been raised I think nine pounds for that uh, last win in Ballon Robe she's in here off dead bottom weight of 10 stone off a mark of 106 I know it's a much better race to go and contend with but the fact that she's so far down the weights despite being in winning form is a, an angle I quite like at times and I'm fingers crossed she's a good strong traveler she usually jumps okay and as much as people are going to probably raise eyebrows, Ballon Robe isn't the most dissimilar track to Galway. It's obviously much tighter, but you know it's it's got a tight enough bend turning in. It's got an uphill last furlong or so. It's it's just got a few, I suppose, quirks that are not dissimilar to Galway. So I'm hoping that given she's done so well at Ballon Robe, she can translate it here. She's currently eight to one uh, again each way with five places available. And the Galway Plate at 6.40. I'm going to throw two darts at the board in this. First of all, uh, a favourite of mine, a horse that's won a few times for us already, uh, for which bookies El Barra. And Albera has actually been well backed in this race into near on favouritism. He's currently 13 to 2 each way with William Hill. Seven places available with William Hill. They're the only bookmaker, I think, that are going seven places. I'm going to take that extra place if it is available to me. Uh, last seen out winning the competitive novices handicap at the Punchestown Festival. He seems to be improving. He's much better going right handed than left handed. And. He's Paul Townend's pick. There's an awful lot to go with him. And fingers crossed he can run a big race. The other one I'm going to throw in again. Another quirky customer. But uh, one that has plenty of talent. And if he's on a going day. Could go very close in this race. And that's Ronald Pump. Uh, for the shrewd Matthew Smith. Who had a winner yesterday with Flaming Moon. Sam Ewing takes the ride. Who's already ridden this horse a few times. So hopefully he's become a little bit used to this horse's quirks. It's more, more so just what he does at the start of the race. If he just jumps off fine I think he's got a bang chance in this it's just whether he plants his feet at the start or, or does something silly and uh, but he showed in the Leinster National when a close second that he's got enough ability to be really competing in these sort of big handicaps and I'm hoping he can run a big race he's currently 18 to 1 I'm going to back him each way as well so four selections for the Galway Festival of 2022 make sure to look out the Witch Bookie uh, website as well to have a look at the Lucky 15 selections as well as a couple more selections in there from Galway 
Goodwood and Galway. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe to the Witch Monkey channel, and I'll see you again tomorrow for the day four selections of the Galway Festival. Best of luck.